Hello everyone, my name is Sushi Attack. Um, I'm new to this, um, and this is my very first commentary over gameplay. Um, I want to use this video to basically tell you who I am, uh, what kind of player I am, um, you know, just, just what I like to do when I'm playing Call of Duty, maybe a little bit about myself too as well. Um, first off, I, I just want to say uh, thank you if you're watching this. Um, I know it's probably going to be terrible. I'm probably going to be very bad at this. Um, just because, I mean, it is my first one. And, yeah, well, right now I'm playing Capture the Flag. Um, that's usually what I mostly play. I usually delve in a little bit in Demolition and Domination, but um, if you ever look at all my recent games, you'll see probably 99% of them are Capture the Flag. Uh, most people hate Capture the Flag, but I love Capture the Flag. Um, I like the tactical aspect of it. I like having all the spawns memorized and knowing where you have to be so people don't spawn in certain places and escorting people back to your flag. There's just the whole tactical aspect of it. People mostly hate it because it's it can become slow paced because of the camping and the, the obviously the, the respawn timers, but I actually, I think it's better with the respawn timers, um, just because, I mean, if you didn't have those spawn timers, uh, you'd kill somebody, they'd immediately be at their flag, and you, there'd be, like, a constant defense, and, it, yeah, I, I think for this game mode to work, you need to have a, you, you need to be able to put up a defense and be able to, uh, break and, break, a the offensing team's defense, so, just a reason I like it. Um, I play on the PlayStation. Uh, I love my PlayStation 3. Uh, I probably will never get a Xbox 360. I have nothing, nothing's wrong with the Xbox 360. I, I've had three of them. Um, just kind of traded them in, traded them for a PS3, then traded PS3 in for an Xbox. But, I mean, overall, my experience on the PlayStation Network has been better than Xbox Live. Um, but no hate towards the Xbox. I, I my sister has an Xbox, and, uh, I I, th I think it's still a great system. Um, also, the lack of Blu-ray on it was kind of my uh, driving point towards the PS3. Um, yeah, uh, PS3, yes, awesome. I love my PS3. Um, you can see here in this match that I'm playing right now, I, I lag a little bit. Um, my internet connection... Um, it kind of sucks. I, I really hate Sprint. Uh, I'm planning on getting better internet. Um, mine just di dips in and out of good and bad signals. It, you can tell, like, I'll be running fine one minute. I think, like, right up here, you'll see me start to stagger a lot. Yeah, right here, it's you see me staggering a lot. But then other points, you'll see me, like, right here, staggering a lot. But then at other points, you'll see me running just fine. I think I pulled up the scoreboard a couple times. You can see, like, I usually run a constant three bar, um, and it'll dip to a one bar connection out of nowhere, and um, then go go immediately back to a three bar. So, apologize. I know I do lag sometimes, but for the most part, I think I'm a a pretty decent player. Um, I also uploaded this match. I decided to do this one as my first commentary just be because I do love Capture the Flag. I was either going to do a, um, a wager match where I knife only annoy annoy the crap out of everyone um, or this one. But I decided this one just because I love Capture the Flag and I got all six captures in this one. So um, the score is not amazing. I didn't go like, like 101 and 2. No, I, I, I think I went... I went like 20 something and like 17, um, but I mean it's the, I, I'm a I'm an objective player. I don't I don't hunt for kills. I don't go into a domination match and don't capture anything. You'll usually see that I have at least in domination I'll have at least five caps. Um, KDR to me is not really that important. Um, I'm an objective player. I'm also a team player. <laughs> I know as much as everybody hates this, um, I do revive my teammates in Second Chance. Um, I, I don't want my, my enemy to be getting kills that, you know, they 
I don't want them getting kill streaks. I mean, that's just going to hurt our team even more. So, I mean, as much as I don't like second chance, um, I do believe it's a defensive perk. Um, I think people abuse it and use it the wrong way. Um, I'll use it when I'm sitting back and guarding a flag so that uh, in case I do get caught off guard, I can still at least try to defend my flag. I don't use it to get, um, you know, revived and everything. Um, and I hardly even use that class to begin with. Um, I'm a team player. I will, if I know that my flag is right next to theirs, and they can they, they can cap it in less than a second. And even if I'm on a kill streak, one away from dogs or something, I will die for that flag even if I get killed. I don't care. I like winning. Um, kills are not a big thing to me. Um, I do use um, I don't use big kill streaks. Um, I believe in this one. Well, most of the time I'm always using counter spy plane. I never I can't say never. Um, I do use spy plane, but I mostly use counter spy plane. Um, just because I don't like SR-71s, um, even though my last kill streak is an SR-71, I don't like my team being shown up, and I like to help my team. So I usually, I usually pull off a couple um, counter spy planes. My, I want to say about 90 to 95% of the time, and any time an enemy puts up an SR-71, I always jam it. It's a good idea. I think more people should run counter spy plane. Because um, most of the time people won't shoot them down. Um, the only time I ever see people shooting them down is if they're really desperate for Ghost Pro or if it's a spy plane. I've never, I never really pay attention. People don't really ever pay attention to the counter spy plane. Why, I don't know. Um, but it's what they do. Um, since I mostly play capture the flag, there's my third capture. Um, since most of the time I play capture the flag, um, I usually, usually use napalm. Um, I use that to either block their enemies from coming out of their spawn, or sometimes I even use it right before I'm about to take their flag, and I time it perfectly so that when I grab the flag, the napalm goes down right behind me and they can't they can't get past it and most of the time if they want to get to me they have to go around um, and most of the time by the by the time that happens that you know it's over for them um, and then I use SR-71 um, most of my perks are not my perks my uh, most of my kill streaks are very team oriented very uh, very defensive um, Usually non-lethal. I usually don't worry about getting kills with my uh, napalm. Um, I use it mostly just to cover flag carriers myself. Um, I use it defensively, so I want to say my most of my per, uh, kill streaks are defensive. Um, occasionally, I'll switch up the napalm with mortar team. Uh, it usually just doesn't work out as well, though. Um, I used to use dogs a lot, but I, mean, I, 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 I don't see really how that helps the team unless. You really need to get in that flag, and if you're going around trying to hunt for kills, it means you're not capturing objectives. You're not being a, an objective player. So I just, I usually, I, I've been staying away from high kill streaks, the lethal ones, um, in favor of the defensive ones for my team. You'll see, I, I uh, right here, I think I have the flag. It's kind of hard to see on this little screen. Um, it looks like I do. I'm hiding. I think they have our flag. Um, yeah, they have our flag. Um, I, I camp it out a little bit, but uh, you really have to. Um, I, I know I come up here, this guy, I don't know how they both died. Um, that was a little weird. Um, I come up here and I lay down up here for quite a while. I actually fast forward a little bit. You can actually see in the map that the spy plane actually gets really fast. Just because I'm up here for a while. And, uh... I know when I get down from here, I get a pretty, pretty good kill. I know there's, I, I know there's somebody by our flag when it gets returned, so I don't bring it down immediately. I know he's going to be over there in the back towards where I'm looking at, but, but down there, and I, before I capture the flag, I look down and I shoot him and I jump down and capture it. Um, just a little bit about that gameplay there. I, I was, I wasn't going to be hasty. I didn't want to lose this flag. Um, I know nobody else on my team 
was really going after the flag. I was pretty much the only one. Um, I think a couple people were actually going for it. Um, most people dropped it. I think there's one point where I drop it. I go into my respawn timer. I respawn and nobody else grabbed it. And so I go up and pick it up from where I dropped it from when I got killed. So I mean, that, that, it really bothers me when people don't play objectively. If you're gonna be standing near something, you might as well just grab it. Um, I think people are way too worried about their kill death. My kill death isn't terrible, but it's not like it's not good um, compared to other commentators. I'm sure other commentators got like threes and fours. Um, I'm at last time I checked, it was like 1.53, um, and I mostly play alone. Um, I only usually party up maybe once or twice a week, um, and I play every day. So most of the time I'm going at it alone with randoms, so it's it, it gets kind of hard. Um, my win-loss is a .91. Um, that's not that good either, but I've been, I usually... Usually when I play in a party, we win. Um, and I want to say lately I've been winning, I've been winning a lot. Um, but it's mostly just because I, I play alone. And uh, nobody really likes to take order from a random. Uh, that's when I have my mic on. Um, I do put it on when things need to get done. People are just standing there. Um, and I try to tell them what to do. Um, I know what I'm doing when it comes to capture the flag. I, I have spawns memorized. I recognize spawn timers. I know, I know timing like that. I might not be the best at killing people, but uh, I, I do know how to play objectively and I know how to play it right. Um, and I'm always, I'm always willing to get with people, you know, play a little capture the flag with them. I, I mean, I'll play other game types, but I prefer capture the flag just because that's what I'm good at. Um, most of the, most of my friends on my friends list will see me playing it on here. I usually play capture the flag, and always ask me why I'm just playing capture the flag. It's the tactical aspect of it. Um, but we're coming close to the end of the video here, I think. Um, this will be my sixth capture. This is the first time I'm actually doing it too, and I didn't realize that I was gonna about to get the sixth capture until I was at like four, and I, I was like, I'm gonna go for it. I'm gonna do it. I think people are telling me to hold the flag. I don't do that. Um, but yeah, that's uh, all six captures. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, like it. Um, hopefully I can put up more. Uh, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys later. <laughs>